Hey guys, Steve here. Thanks for stopping by and watching the video today. I am super excited you're here. Let me ask you a question. Do you have a bunch of this at home? What about a bunch of that? What about this other thing? Do you have piles of documents? Are they on your desk, in your file cabinets? And if only you could scan them and put them on your computer, wouldn't that be great? Now, if you have a scanner, that's great, except there's a problem, isn't there? When you actually go to scan the document, what do you get? You get a picture of the document. Now, that's not really gonna do anyone any good. I mean, what are you supposed to do? Like, watch a slideshow of your tax return? That doesn't, that doesn't help anybody, right? Wouldn't it be great if there was some software out there that would let you scan these documents in and then turn them into a format that you could actually move into Microsoft Word, for example, and completely edit and manipulate. You could change where the pictures are or remove them and you could edit the text, the tables, everything. Wouldn't it be great if there was a software product like that? Well, guess what? There is. It's called Read Iris Pro, and we have version 12 here, and we have a phenomenal deal on the thing, too. This is incredible. If you look online, you'll see these are on sale for well over 100 bucks. Our price is so low, I'm not even going to mention it on the video. Look at the website. You're just going to be completely floored when you see it. So this takes your documents and turns them into stuff that you can actually edit in your computer. Now, if that was all it did, that would be super, right? But you know what? It, does, uh, it takes another step. Have you ever gotten a PDF document? You know how those are. You can only look at them. You can't really do anything with them, right? Guess what? This software can manipulate those. You can tell it to import a PDF document and it will take it and you can put it back into say like Microsoft Word and you can completely edit the thing from top to bottom. It's just like it's just a regular Word document at that point. It is so completely useful. Honestly, you know the easiest way to show you this is to have it demoed for you. I'm gonna have our tech guy, Tim. He's an expert with the software. I'm gonna have him show you exactly how this works. You are gonna be floored. Let's turn to him now and we'll take a look. Hey guys, Tim here, and I have an unbelievable product to tell you about. It is Read Iris Pro 12. It is an unbelievable utility to use with your scanner to convert documents into actually editable text turn forms into editable forms, turn Excel spreadsheets into Excel data. It is really amazing. But before I get into it, I wanna show you something real quick. Here is what you get with a regular scanner. It is a picture of a document. Now, quite honestly, I never understood this. I never got the point. Because if I go ahead and I click in date and I try to type in the date, you just get error messages. You don't get an actual useful document. All you get is a picture of a document. I don't know what you're supposed to do with it. I know you can print them out. I know it's good for saving a document. I mean, I'm not gonna knock it for that, but it really doesn't let you use the document. It's just a picture of a document. I could take a picture of my camera phone and it would do the same thing. So let's go back to Read Iris and let's show you some of the really cool things that it does. First of all, it starts off with a wizard. Really simple to use. This is what's gonna come up when you install Read Iris. You go ahead and press next. It's gonna ask you if you wanna use your scanner or if you wanna use image files. I'll get back to that in a little bit, but we're gonna select scanner. We're gonna press next. It's gonna ask you to pick your scanner. You would click change and pick which scanner you have. I've already done that. We're gonna press next. It's gonna set your document type. This is asking you, is it in English? Is it in Spanish? Is it in French? It's gonna go ahead and convert the language for the same language. So if you have a Spanish document, it's gonna output it in Spanish for you. If you have an English document, it's gonna recognize it in English for you. That way you're not trying and converting a document that has maybe a different character set like Spanish into English and you get all kinds of crazy errors. So I'm gonna press next again and it's gonna ask me, how do I wanna output that file? Microsoft Word, it supports some PDF files, it supports open office files, it supports regular notepad files, you can save it as a web page. There's a ton of different options there. I'm gonna pick Microsoft Word, press next, and it's gonna tell me you're all set, ready to go. I press go, and it's gonna scan this image for me. I go ahead and click the scan button. It pulls up from my scanner, an order form for a company that we use. Exactly the same image that you saw before that all I could do was print it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna save this as WS order form. I'm gonna press enter and there we go. Here is the actual form that I just had on my screen that I just had a picture of before that I can fill out. Now watch this, this is really, really cool. This blows my mind. So ship to, Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and have this sent to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and type Timothy in there. I can go ahead and select in here, catalog number. Let's say this is product number, you know, one, two, five, six, eight, two. 
and we need 450 of those. That's the Glow Keyboard for ADA. Price each one of those, that's $17.15 each. Total, I can go ahead and pull up my handy little Windows calculator here. I can go ahead and type 450 times $17.15. 771750, 771750, there we go. I've got an entire order filled out. Here's the best part. How many times have you filled something out and you say, oh wait, I screwed something up, I messed something up, I wrote a two, it should have been a three, and the box is so tiny. Well, okay, you have a scanner and you scan in the form the first time, you print out another one, and then you fill it out all over again. Here, you don't do that. Steve comes in and says, Tim, those Glow keyboards are selling like crazy. Forget 450, we're gonna need more like 1450, 1500, 1600. Okay, Steve, how many do you want? You know what, round it out, order 1500 of them. I go in here to the order form, I throw out my old order form that I printed out, as simple as this. I go ahead and type 150, bang, it's 1500, the price is still the same. I go ahead and delete out what I've come up with for my total. I go back to my calculator. Now I'm gonna do 1500 times $17.15, 25,725, so $25,725. There we go, $25,725 is my total. I've got now the order form filled out for the right order. Really, really simple. I can go here into file, I can save it as a Word document, I can print it, I can go ahead and do a whole bunch of different things with that document now that it's actually editable. It's a real form. It's not like it was before, a useless picture of a document that all I could do is make a print of, the plain document, no text in there, no edits. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this and go back to Read Iris real quickly. I wanna show you some more features of it, of the OCR Wiz, it's really fantastic. Actually, before I do that, I wanna show you something first, because this blows my mind, okay? Check this out. Here we have the Google Shopping page for Read Iris Pro 12. This is exactly the product that we're selling today. The cheapest price you can get it for from anybody. And these Amazon sellers are people who bought a copy of it or got it. Let's say they bought, you know, one of those industrial scanners. It comes with Read Iris. It's a well-known piece of software. And they got a copy of it. You know what? They already have Read Iris. They went ahead and said, you know, I'll sell it. You know, I'll make back some money on it. They're selling it for $80. If you go to a legitimate company like B&H Photo, they're the biggest photo supplier of photo, video, scanners, document equipment on the web, they're charging $104.50, $108.49 after shipping. And just to prove to you, this is, you know, today's price. This isn't an old page that I pulled out of an archive somewhere. I'm going to click right on BNH's website. This is today on their website. You can see in the right-hand corner, it's 8.15 at 2.45 in the afternoon, you know, here we go, it's $104.50 before shipping. Seven to 14 business day ship time. I mean, look at our price. Who does that? Who discounts something like that? I know WorldStart is used to selling things at a big discount. I know this isn't maybe as shocking to you as it is to me, even though I work here, this kind of discount is almost unheard of. It's like going into Ford and looking at a truck that's $25,000 and then a dealership 10 miles away says, hey guys, I'll sell you the same truck for five grand. No one does that. No one gives those kinds of discounts. You know, I went to Steve first and I said, hey, is this, you know, like a trial version? Is this, a, you know, a halfway version? Is this some kind of, you know, uh, maybe it's not the pro version, it's a regular version? This is Read Iris Pro. This is the same one that you just saw for $104.50 before shipping. And look at the price we're selling it for. But anyway, let's go back to Read Iris because there's still a few really cool features in there. So I'm going to go back to the wizard again. I'm going to press next one more time. This time I'm going to select image files. Let's say you've already had your scanner for a while. You've already been using it like most scanners work. You've been making images out of stuff. You have an exact copy of a form. Well, you're saying to yourself, I'd love to get this software, but I don't want to spend four hours scanning in all this other stuff. Four hours, 40 hours, 400 hours, however much time you've spent re-scanning in everything that you already did once. You go ahead and press next under image. Again, you're going to select English. Microsoft Word is the output and press go. You can select the image file. Here I'm gonna pick this order form. This is the exact same form that you saw before me scan in. It's just telling me that originally when I scanned it, I scanned it at a lower setting, I press okay. 
Here's that picture of that form that I showed you before, but look at that. It's doing the exact same thing. It's recognizing the form. I'm going to go ahead and click save, and here we go. It's brought up the same form. Now I can enter again, catalog number 14568. Let's say on this one we want a quantity of 25. This particular product, let's say, is a, uh, you know, a source file viewer utility. And this one's five dollars like you can see the same form from an image file that i've already scanned in that i've already done all the work for i can still use even if you've already used your scanner like your scanner is used right now just as making copies and images of things this software is still going to let you convert all of those documents into usable documents that you can save you can print you can email you can send and you can actually edit so I'm going to close out of this and I'm going to go back into Read Iris for a second because I want to show you one more really cool feature. And this one just floors me how cool it is. So have you gotten a PDF document? So if we go here and I'm going to go to, uh, for example, here into the source file that I have here and we have a Better Business Bureau form. I'm going to open this up real quick to show you. This is a nomination form for the Better Business Bureau. It's on their website. It's for the Blue, uh, the Torch Award, it used to be called Blue Flame. Really is fantastic, shows you some of the great service and awards that you can receive as a Better Business Bureau member because of the great service you offer to people. And here it shows right on the bottom, you can email this form right into Marilyn at ToledoBBB.org. Well, what are you gonna do with this form? What you're going to do is you're going to download it from the web, you're going to open it, you're going to print it, you're going to fill it out, you're going to put it in your scanner, you're going to scan it, you're going to make an image file of it, you're going to attach the image file to an email, you're going to email it to Marilyn. Marilyn's then going to take the image file, print it out, give it to somebody, they're going to type it in. And, and why is all of this necessary? Why can't I just click on company name and start typing? Well, if you buy Adobe Acrobat Pro for four or $500, you can. But us regular people can't afford that, and we're not going to do that. We'll go through all the trouble, and we'll print it out. Well, if I go back into Read Iris, this is the really cool part. I go now here to Open, and I'm going to select that Better Business Bureau form. It's going to go ahead and do the same process on that form from a form I download from the web. PDF is the biggest document format out there, everywhere from the government, the IRS, to little small businesses left and right are using PDF documents because it lets you send an exact copy of a document somewhere. All I'm going to go ahead and do is click Recognize and Save. Again, it's going to ask me to save it. I'm going to save it as BB Form 2. I'm going to save it. And there we go, here's my nomination form, and I can go ahead and actually type in here exactly what I want, company name. We're gonna go ahead and type World Start, because we're gonna go ahead and nominate us for this award. How amazing is this? Now I send this Word document to Marilyn. Marilyn can not only see the exact phrasing of everything that I'm saying here, but she can do something as simple as going ahead and copying it. Now instead of having to send it off to somebody, she has the actual document. She has the actual information to send. She doesn't need to print it. You don't need to scan it twice over. You don't need to write all over it, mess something up and rewrite it again. It's really amazing. All right, finally got the last document in that computer. Love that read irons. Oh, hey, welcome back. Uh, I hope you got a great demo from Tim. You can see how absolutely positively sweet this program is. And again, our price on it is completely phenomenal. There is one little problem though. We have a very, very limited quantity of these. Now, again, our price is in a lot of cases three times cheaper than everybody else's. So. You're gonna to have to hurry. This is not something you can wait on. I, I know sometimes you can wait and you can buy it a day or two later. Look, we've had this type of product before. We've had the older version of this and it sells out within hours. And we have a very, very, this is the smallest quantity we've ever had of these. So I'm not expecting this to last. You have to go to the site now if you want to get in on this phenomenal deal. But let me tell you, once you, once you go this way, you will never go back. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.